Welcome to the next episode of March 15 in Conversation. Today we are privileged to speak with Steve Knox, who is the VP of Global Talent Acquisition at Ceridian. Oh, you got it right, you got it right. Yes, I got it right. <laughs> I practiced the title. Uh, so from head of recruitment to, uh, to in, in Ceridian, let's, let's chat a little bit about what is happening right now on the market. Everybody is talking about labor shortages right now. Is it true? What is happening? What's your view? It's been interesting. I, you know, I've been in recruiting 25 years and it's probably the craziest market I have seen in my time. And I think the main attributor to this is really the pandemic and the fact that so many companies went remote and virtual. And really the candidate pool went from being in a small city or geography to almost a global pool. So everyone is now competing for that same talent. And I think that's what's kind of attributed to the perception that there is this global shortage because we're all now fishing from the same global pool of talent, uh, provided you're with a company that is still working remotely. So that's probably the main attributor. Um, I'd say secondly, there, there is that perception too that some people have decided that they don't want to work any longer. Um, we've definitely seen it uh, at a certain generation. So people either retiring a little bit earlier than planned or have done a shift in their career and um, are just really looking for a role that provides more care and attention on a personal level. So I think you combine those two factors and it, it definitely feels like there is that ongoing shortage. And it's no longer connected to a demographics. There used to be this uh, common speak that the younger generation is less engaged or lazy or selective. And uh, my clients are often talking about the fact that people don't want to work today, quoting you again or placing uh, very different demands on their employer from working from home, not wanting to go back to the office, being hesitant to participate in any team or social events. Uh, there is this uh, hunger for promotability being faster or being paid more, 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 more. Um, can you elaborate on it from your lens? Definitely generational differences. Um, you know, I'm a true Gen Xer, uh, so grew up in a time when employer loyalty meant a lot and you gave it and you put your time in. I think what's different is the younger generation, they really know what they want more than probably my generation knew. Um, and can assert. And can assert it. And I think that's the difference. I think my generation was a little bit more passive. Um, you know, we waited our time to be promoted, we waited to be tapped on the shoulder, we were a little bit less assertive. And I think the younger generation has a, a much stronger voice. I do think as well the pandemic has attributed it in terms of the fact that people really want an organization that's going to give them care and attention. And, you know, people are starting to put themselves first. You know, we're still seeing the ramifications of the pandemic and, you know, the impact on mental wellness. So I think people really are learning to look after themselves in a much different way and realizing that their employer, employer is part of that, that care and attention that they're looking for. 